Hi everyone, welcome back to the Big O series. Today's topic is O of n squared. It's slower than O of n log n, and as inputs grow, time grows about like n squared. To make it clear, we'll look at bubble sort as an example. The idea behind bubble sort is actually very simple. You keep comparing two neighboring numbers, and if the left one is bigger, you swap them. Step by step, the larger numbers get pushed to the right, just like bubbles slowly rising to the top. Let's look at a concrete example. Suppose we want to sort the array 6, 5, 3, 4, 1, and 2. In the first pass, the outer loop index i equals 0, and the inner loop j starts from the beginning. We compare 6 and 5, swap them, then compare 6 and 3, swap again, compare 6 and 4, swap, compare 6 and 1, swap, finally compare 6 and 2, swap once more. By the end of this round, the largest number, 6, has bubbled up to the very end of the array. In the second pass, i equals 1, and j again starts from the beginning. Since the last element is already in the right spot, we only compare the first five numbers. After another round of comparisons and swaps, the second largest number, 5, moves into the second to last position. This process repeats pass after pass until the entire array becomes fully sorted. As you can see, the essence of bubble sort is repeated pairwise comparisons that slowly push the bigger numbers toward the back. Here's the Python implementation of bubble sort. The code is straightforward. The outer loop controls how many passes we run, and each pass makes sure one more element is bubbled into the correct position. The inner loop compares adjacent elements one by one and swaps them if necessary. Eventually, the whole array ends up sorted. Now, why is the time complexity O of n squared? Suppose the array length is n. In the first pass, we do n minus 1 comparisons, then n minus 2, then n minus 3, and so on, until just 1. Adding these up gives 1 through n minus 1, which equals n times n minus 1 over 2. That's about n squared over 2 minus n over 2. In big O notation, we ignore constants and smaller terms, so the result is simply O of n squared. In practice, bubble sort, selection sort, and insertion sort are all typical O of n squared algorithms. They're simple to write, and they work fine for learning or for very small data sets. But when the input gets larger, you'll want to switch to more efficient algorithms, like merge sort or quick sort, which run in O of n log n time.